today on Chill Cooking, Brian and I are going to be cooking with the world famous Sarah Nikiforov, the globe trotting chef of the ages. And yeah, let's make some bread. Yeah, let's make some bread. Don't talk. Hi, uh, my name is Sarah. I'm a professional chef. I went to culinary school at Harvard for food and I've been cooking for 50 years. Um, I'm actually close friends with Gordon Ramsay. I actually cater for his dinner parties on the occasion and we're actually pretty good friends. Hello. And so Jillcast emailed me a little bit ago and they said they wanted to make bread with me. But they never specified when. And then I just heard a knock at my door today and they just kind of showed up. So I guess we're making bread today. Make fun of me so I have to do this every time. Today on Smooth Cooking, we're cooking bread with the famous Sarah Nikiforov. Thank you so much for letting us come to your house. I know it's kind of a intrusion, but I hope we didn't interrupt anything. I mean, I had a dentist appointment, but that can always be rescheduled. Cool, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you're gonna teach us to make some bread. So, what, yeah. what ingredients do we need? Well, first, before any ingredients, we're gonna I have aprons for you guys to wear, and for me to wear, because you don't want to get your clothes all dirty. Oh, nice. Blue one's mine. Yeah, it's yours, it's yours. Oh, thanks for giving. We're on theme. Yeah. I would... I'm using my other apron, but that's at my actual kitchen that I professionally work at, not my house, but anyway. Okay, this so yeah. Tight, right? Um, so yeah, we're making bread today. We need things like sugar, flour, um, butter, and water, and yeast, and yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. And I actually printed out the directions, so you can follow along with me because science is better to read instead of hearing it sometimes. First of all, I'm gonna be using. Can you get that big bowl for me? Okay. So, we're going to be using this bowl, we're going to mix pretty much almost all the dry ingredients, but that we'll talk about that later. So, like here, as you can see, it says we need three and a half cups of flour, so can you grab the flour in the measuring cups? Thank you. Get the sugar out of the way, we don't need that part yet. So... I have a lot of cups because I don't. You don't want to double cups on anything. So this my there it is. Okay. So here's the one cup. So can you measure out three cups of flour? All right. Yeah. Three cups? Yes. No, four cups. No, it's three and a half. Three or four? Three. Four? Five. Three. three. Five. Five. Three. 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 Okay. One. But for the half, we'll use something else. We won't just use half of that. Three. That was two. Crap, I don't even have it. Hold on. Three. Four. Three. Five. 
three. No, okay, no, that was three. Oh, that was three. That yeah, was yeah, three. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. So you're, the, now, you're the cook. You're the cook. You're the cook. So now, do you want to fill the half cup? Yes. You only need to do it once. Okay. Twice. Once. Okay. Just pay attention, jeez. That's a little bit too much. Can you please even it out? So you don't want to put more than you need. You're making a mess, Brian. <laughs> jeez. Try your best. She invited us to our house. We need we need to have cleanliness. We need to be polite. What's your definition of invited? Next step. Next step. Anyway, um, so after that, we need sugar. So when it comes to sugar, we actually don't need that much. We only need three tablespoons. So there's a tablespoon. I didn't know tables were made out of spoons. I can't have had enough of your attitude, okay? It's been very nice to invite us here, and we need to like just. But try not to make a mess, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Are you cool? Yeah. Okay, so this is a tablespoon. And um, so basically, you need three of these. Okay. Three. Oh. Okay. Anytime now. Don't rush it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought bread making was all about being really fast. Mm. Isn't that like what they say, like make bread and have time for dinner? Isn't that like a saying? I don't think it's the same. I mean, I heard it like on... Okay, Continue. anyway, so that was three. There's the hope. I stopped paying attention, so now I'm kind of worried. But, um, the next step is salt. And we only need a little bit of salt. only need one tablespoon. So, and you can one tablespoon. One tablespoon. And I suggest pouring it over the bowl. Okay. So if you have a little bit excess, it won't like spill the table. Okay. It's okay. Is that right? Yep. yep. Pour it in. You know what they say when you're cooking, lick your fingers. No. Okay. Oh! okay. So the next part um, <laughs> is we need to put shortening, and so shortening is actually this stuff. Oh, and I forgot. Could you go grab me a knife? No. They're in there. You'll find them. Don't cut yourself. Do you think you'll cut yourself? No, he, he's, he, I trained him well. Here you go. Okay. That, a knife. Knife? Not Ryan, two Ryan, knives. Time. One blade. One blade. Okay, okay. He's, oh. we're, tomorrow we're working on ABCs. Okay. We'll, we'll get him there. How old is he? He's, he's about 18, but you know, he, just, he hasn't really found his way. One blade? Yet. One, yeah, that's good. You're getting closer. It, it, okay. it does have like a, a blade-ness to it. Okay. Uh, but silver. Silver with black handle, okay? okay? Silver, black handle. Silver, black handle. So we need two tablespoons. Silver, sure. black handle? Okay. You're doing so good, buddy, but we need... I'll, I'll just get it. You're you good job for now. Okay. For now, okay. okay. Just, you did a good job. Okay. okay. Just remember that. Yes. Two tablespoons. Okay, so we need two tablespoons. I'm gonna do the cutting part. Okay. I don't trust you with a knife. Okay. Seeing as you don't know what a knife is. Um. I'm more concerned for your safety. So next, and we need yeast. We actually need two packets, which I already have out. So now, you know those... Here's the yeast. It's the yeast I can do. So you know those things, that thing you thought was a knife earlier? Yeah. Can you go back and get that? The one that had two blades. Oh. What's it called? Scissors. You don't, you don't let him do that himself at the right? No, no, wait, he has a guardian. Okay. Thank you. Oh. You want to cut the, put the yeast in? It's the yeast I can do. You already used that. Oh. I 
feel really nervous. What? What? I, <laughs> you scared me for a second. I just, I, you can pour it in. Oh, okay. All of it? Yeah. Like a tablespoon? No, the whole thing. Okay. Mm. And then now get the other one too. Cool. I want to do this one. I don't. I don't trust let you. Him, I can do let, it. Let him cut it. I'll, I'll cut it, and then you can pour it in, bud. Okay. okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get the spoon which we're gonna need. You're doing good. She's She's not mean. She's just telling you things, okay? She, she's the expert, okay? Okay, good job. And so, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna mix it up. And so, do you want to? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the blue part you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure you break apart that short thing. Okay. And it'll take a little bit because it's kind of like a sticky thing. So you gotta really make sure you set it up. Does McDonald's have to do this every time they make a Big Mac? That's another topic we'll discuss later. Okay. Short answer, no. Okay. His favorite food is the Big Mac. You like Big Mac? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. I wouldn't really suggest, but I will admit, I do indulge in the chicken nuggets on occasion. Let me check. Is it good? See. Some parts of the shortening that like to stay together, so I'll just finish up mixing it up. Okay, and now what we'll be doing is we're going to be adding the water. And I'm just going to do this part because it's a little time sensitive. Okay. But you guys will help as I do it. So can you, when I ask him to pour in the water, can you start the one minute timer? Yes. Okay. So pour in the water. All of it. Wait, when he pours it in, I start it? Uh, in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, when he pour when he pours it in, I start mixing. Huh. And then I start the timer as soon as he pours it in. Huh. All of it. All of it. Okay, time to start. So I can put this on. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, so that we've mixed it, we're gonna stir in enough remaining flour one cup at a time to make dough easy to handle. So I'm, where's the one cup that we had? So can you measure out one cup? And right. put it in. Okay. And do you wanna start mixing it? Yeah. Step over the cork, yeah. There you go. You don't need that, no, with your hand. With oh. Your spoon. <laughs> okay, so just start stirring it, mixing the flour pretty well. You get all the stuff on the side, so you don't want to like not mix stuff. Okay, and now uh, I'll take over. Can you add another cup of flour? Stir this time? Sure. And as it gets harder, I'll start stirring. Okay, hurry up. These okay, Don't tell me to hurry up. I got I I know what I know what I'm doing, okay? These are called directions. Okay. I know that. I know, I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just showing you so this is where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So we're stirring in the rest of the flour. And then once you do that. Oh, we need the dough. I, I, we do need the dough. No, we need, like, need it. It's yeah, like we need it. It's a technique of... To cook it, right? To bake it. We need the bread. Well, okay. When we get there, we'll talk about it. And actually, could you... No, please don't do that. Um, could you scoot all the stuff over there? Okay. So we have them to need the dough. 
Oopsies is the third one. Move my phone too. Yes, you move my phone. Get everything out of the way. And actually, if you could, do you think you could lightly flour the surface? What does that mean? So you get get the cup of flour. So get a little bit. Get a little. I know what you're talking about. So we open it. We pour it all on the table. No. Um, so we open it. And we pour it all on the table. No. Just saying it twice doesn't make it right. Okay, so you take some flour, you kind of dust it over here. You're, you're doing good. You're doing good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is... Hey Siri! Set a timer for 10 minutes. We'll just estimate. So what you want to do is there's a bunch of different styles of kneading and they all work like pretty well. So basically you're just trying to get the dough to where it's no longer like you want it to be not as sticky as it is and you want it to be smooth and springy which it kind of already is but you want to just knead it for a little while so why don't you start. So you kind of like you fold it and you push. Fold it. Push like that. Flour on your hand so it didn't stick to your hands. It's really warm. <laughs> yeah. The warm water. Oh, okay. We'll have a turn in a second. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Put this in there. Actually, while he's doing that, I have a special job for you. Yes, what is it? Okay, so follow me. Um, me and he'll be right back. We gotta go wash our hands so we can go grease the bowl. Okay, that off. Don't eat the dough. Okay. Okay. So we wanna do this was the one that's kind of Okay. With this out of the way, we're done with this bowl. Where's the bean bowl? It's in your hands, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Professional cook. I'm sorry. I'll leave it. So what you want to do, this was for when we're done kneading it, which you'll have your turn to do that in a second. You want to rub this bowl so it doesn't stick to it while it's rising. Okay, so you just kind of grease the bottom of the bowl and the sides. It feels like I'm constantly changing a diaper. <laughs> do you have experience with that? No. I have someone, I pay someone to change his diapers. No, I change my own diapers. Thank oh yeah, you. you change your own diapers. I forgot. Okay, I'll take it for a second. Can you get me some more flour? Just use the cup, like or one of the clean cups, and just get a little bit. Just spread a little table. Okay, you think it's all greased up? Yes. Okay. You want to turn doing this? Sure. Okay. You just kind of like fold it, push it out, just like that. Just get it to where it's nice and springy, which is starting to get there. A little more like, you kind of want to like do this, and you kind of fold it on itself. So. Okay. Okay. Good job. I'm going to see, it might be ready. Might do a little bit more. Just to, because. Usually it's about 10 minutes until it's smooth and springy. And since technology didn't want to work with me, we're just going to estimate. Which, as much as cooking is about following directions, a lot of it is just to taste. Which is a kind of do with bread because you can't taste it till the end, but... We could, we could eat it right now, right? Yeah, there's no, like, eggs in it. So I guess theoretically you could. It wouldn't taste very good, it did, though. Just a little sticky. And the idea is, so you want to add like, the bread itself, like it says in the direction, is a six, and, six to seven cups, right? But my idea is, so I add up to like six and a half, and I figure by all this kneading, you add the other half in as you're kneading it. Mm -hmm. So, 
So I think that looks pretty springy. So what we're gonna do is, could you go in the pantry and get like the, you know what plastic wrap is? Yeah. Shift tight, yeah, can you go get that? Okay. So, I get enough so we can cover the top of that bowl. Oh. No, that didn't work. Hold on. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, I got, I got, it, it's fine. I, I know what I'm doing. Eh. 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 There we go. So that's like a nice color ball, right? Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're kinda gonna put this up to the ball. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna set it in the bowl, but no, we can take it off for a second. No. Oh, you gotta set this in there. And it's gonna rise for about an hour. An hour? So we're gonna take a break for an hour. What do we do for an hour? I don't know, we can talk. Let's go to Waffle House. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you later, okay? Uh, the... Can you guys eat fast? Okay, so it's done rising for the first time. And I think I may have left it in a little bit too warm of an area, but it's okay. That's a that's a big honker. So what we wanna do is can you open the flower? And uh, so, so what we gotta do is we gotta kind of push it and flatten it out and release like the gas from the yeast. So which one of you wants to do that? Mm. Okay. Don't worry, so, I'll have you something fun to do too. Yeah, so, so wait, what do I do? Here's a little flower. Give me your hand. Just so you won't well, stick to your hand, just kinda of rub it on your hand. Like soap, you know, you wash your hands with the flower. And you just kinda of like you just gotta this and just slowly press. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> like Alice, can you move your hand? Don't move your hand. Just don't move my hand. Just press it. Just press down? Oh, am I done? Yeah. Can, can you get it out? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've become one. Love. Okay. So what we want to do? Actually, while I'm getting this out, do could I you do guys? A, what do I do with all this excess dough? Just kind of like, just rub it off. Do I eat it? No, okay. you do not eat it. Either one of you or both of you could start greasing the pans, like you know how we grease the bowl earlier. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is dough, right? Yes. So we could we could technically make pizza with this. Uh I guess you could. Choke has pizza. Choke has pizza. That'll be our next okay. video. So I'm just gonna set one of these to the side. And I'm gonna do the first one. And I'm gonna have one of you guys do the other one. I'm just gonna show you an example, okay? This is what you wanna do. You wanna flatten it get into like a rectangle where it's about like about nine by I want to say around 18 okay so tell me uh, you said that you catered for Gordon Ramsay yeah uh, like what do you mean by cater? Like when you have a party, you're like, hey, can you bring this food? I'm having this many people. Do you ever, you ever, do you ever, did you ever what? Hold on. Thanks. Hold on, I got this. Sorry, I didn't take my medication. Um, wait, what year is it? So I almost got this where I want it. You don't still need mine. I, no. Better. Yes, you're right in saying the mine is better. So I think I got it about where I want it. It won't be exactly, you won't be able to get into exactly a rectangle because, you know, it's dough and it doesn't want to do that. So basically, what you do? Throw it up? It's, no, that's pizza. It's not bread. A pizza has bread. Okay. Roll it up, like really tight, kind of making sure no. And hang out. 
this and at the end it's not gonna be perfect this roll it and this is the part myself I usually have trouble with because it doesn't it you're supposed to close it but whenever I pinch it close wait we can make a burrito mm -mm. I would love a burrito we could, we could totally make a burrito that's like so, so much I, dough it's like better than a tortilla so what I do is I kind of just tuck this under ignore <laughs> I got this under. Can I have one of the finished pens? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. I'll take yeah. this one. Okay. Put it in. It's like a caterpillar. Yeah, I guess you could shake that. Okay, now one of you can do this one. Let me flip the surface a little bit. Okay. Do you want to try? Yeah. Have patience, okay? Mm -hmm. So you'll get through this. Okay. So basically, you want to roll it out to where it's about nine by like twelve by eight, like nine. I don't know numbers. This wide, you. this wide, by like maybe this wide. Okay. We'll work on numbers when we get home. Okay. Okay. Okay, a little too much sideways, but that's okay. And then go back more this way, because you're trying to get this side to be the nine inch side. Oh, I guess you could do the other side. Like, I think just give it one more roll and I think it should be good. Not too hard of a roll like that. I'm not trying to get like, that was <laughs> Okay, there we go. I think that's good. And then, do you want to do the rolling part? Sure. Okay. So you take this and you just kind of roll it. And you get right here, you kind of, you pinch the seam at the end. It won't be exactly, but you pinch it. And you, when you put it in here, you kind of tuck the things under and put it in there. It's doughy. Dough is often doughy. Dough mama. Dough mama. Okay, so. Like pinch it. Like from the bottom, you kind of go pinch, 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 pinch. It's not gonna be exactly. But the way I kind of get rid of that is when I go to put it in a pen, you tuck this part under so it's like that. Okay, yeah, that works. Like that? Yeah, I guess so. Kind of like that. You basically you want it to wear one and then. Let me see. You don't Actually, you don't want it to like have any seams because sort of like this side here. Let me do this real quick. Yeah. So now this one might end up a little. But there you go. Good job. It's just the folding part is always weird. So now I actually need to go heat up some butter. So I'll be right back. went do you think she actually went to Harper for food yeah she could be lying maybe maybe, maybe she, she's never touched a, 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 a spoon or a frying pan in her life maybe maybe she's she's conning us it's possible but I saw the degree on the wall maybe she printed that degree maybe it's a fake degree if anything I think we're more professional yeah, I mean no. this this takes hard work and we've been doing most of the work I think it I think she might be conning us. Yeah, I think she is. Um, I mean, anyone can make bread. Yeah. Well, we can make it better. We can make it better. No, we were just making sure that it was up to standard. Okay. Just gonna put some butter on it. It's like icing a cake. I guess you could say that, yeah. That's a cooking thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you want to put on this one? Yes, sir. 
while you're buttering that, I will say that when after these are gonna rise again for a little bit about around the same amount of time, and then after that we're gonna put them straight into the oven, and while they're rising, we'll start heating up the oven. But also, I will tell you when these come out, the this one will not be as like risen as this one, and this one on the sides will be a little more brown. But that's just because it's in a metal pan, and the glass pan and metal pan kind of like lead to different things. Mm. But it, they do still get bread. Like it just this one will be a little bit lighter on the sides just because it is a glass pan. Oh, okay. What if we had a plastic pan? That would melt in the oven. Okay. Wouldn't that just like add flavor? You would destroy your oven. But it's not my oven. It doesn't really cost me anything. You could try it. Do you want to? No. Okay. Maybe if we have my actual kitchen. You know. You know, that's that's good. Anyway, looks good. Okay, sweet. So we need two pieces to cover both of these. Okay, hold, hold, no, hold the other, 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 okay. hold, no, hold, other, no, hold, hold, okay. Okay, turn, bend down, down. Okay. That's good. Okay, now do your off the other pan. Okay. And also, another reason this one rises a lot is because the stretch light's actually able to hook onto the glass. It doesn't hook on as well into the metal pan. So you notice this one will rise a lot more than the metal one. Okay, so these will rise for about about 40 minutes or so until they're about double in size. I actually might get some of this wrap to make sure that hole's covered. Okay, and then So we'll set these to the side to rise for about 40 minutes, and then we'll put them in the oven. All right. Want to go back to Waffle House? Yeah. Okay, Again, go. you guys just ate. Okay. Now that they're ready, I'm just gonna kind of take off the saran wrap. Straight to the oven. You want the rack to be to where the top is in the middle of the oven. And then because our oven runs hard. After we take them out, we're gonna put some butter on them and we have to let them cool a little bit. Whoa. And then, does someone else want to grab the other one? Yeah, sure. No? Okay. Just dump it? Yeah. Just gotta make sure you hold it. Help, help. <laughs> Another thing I talked about earlier with the difference between the glass and the yeah. other pan? See? Okay, so one, do not touch the pans, so they're extremely hot. But I gotta go heat up butter again. So you can put butter on the bread. Wait, it smells like bread. It has that bread smell. Yeah. Um, it really has a... A good, a good bouquet. Good, yeah. Good bread bouquet. Um, it's really... Bread-like. Bread-like, yes, yes, I'd say. We are experts after all. Yes, we are. 
It's uh, very the the density of the uh, the crust is very very crusted. good. Crusted. See, anyone can do this. It's yeah, easy. No. We made this. We made this without any help. Yes. It's, it's amazing what you can do when you really put your mind to it. Yeah. But I didn't want. So I do the last time, you just want to put it on the top. Here's the butter. Who put the butter on last time? That was me. Okay, so Brian, you'll do it this time. Okay, so you just want to like, just lightly get on the top. Not too much. Can we drink the butter afterwards? No. Oh. Can I do a little bit more? Like right, right here. She gets the seconds, yeah. It's not like excited. Yeah. I think. There you go. Okay, so usually I have to let this cool for a little bit, but and this is where I have these plates so it can cool faster, but I think we can cut one slice so we can taste it. We'll just cut a tiny. Usually wait till it cools, but just speed things along. My actual, like, you know, kitchen, my chef kitchen, I have a bread cutter, but since we're at my house, I, all I have is a bread cutter. Okay, it's gonna be a little hot. Let's see? Here, a cameraman, come in. Get a good look at this. Some, that's some mighty fine bread. Okay. But now let us break bread. It's a little hot. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Cheers. Cheers. Bread. Cheers. Cheers. That's a hint of flour to it. Mm -hmm. And bread and taste. It. Sugar. Sugar. I'm getting some salt. Yeah. You're just saying the ingredients you put in. Cut. So thank you so much for showing us how to cook bread. It tastes great. Um, I think this was a successful cooking video. Yes. I think I learned a lot. And uh, yeah, tune in next time where when we make burritos in Taiwan. Wait, before we go, I just want to share with you uh, some bread I prepared earlier. Wait, you were making bread by yourself too? Yeah. Wait, when did when? you have time? I made time. Like, is there another oven in this house? No. So how did... Look at this beaut. Fine bread. That's... Fine slicing. That, that, that's... That's really good. Out. You did really good. I'm yeah, very I'm proud. I'm better than you. Well, I think we've learned a lot today. Thank you for tuning in to Chill Cooking. Um, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. And maybe make some bread of your own. See ya.